Quickly, let me show you guys what you gain inside Revit Tutorial Masterclass. Revit Tutorial Masterclass is my paid Revit course. It comprises of pre-recorded video and a mentorship program. Let's dive in into the course area and I will show you what are in the course area right away. Now you can see we currently have over 427 students. Let me open our WhatsApp group. This is where I attend to questions from my students. You can see we currently have about 327 members in our WhatsApp group. Let me open the course area now. Once your payment is made, you will be given access to this website. And once you log in, these are what you see. The first mode you see is called preamble. This comprises of the introduction. Let me click on this to expand it. You see introduction, how to download and install WinRAR. WinRAR is necessary during your installation. It is used to extract softwares. And here you are going to learn other ways to download my tutorial videos how to load Revit template into your Revit folder, how to download all bonuses. Then we move to the next module, which is software installation. Here, let's expand it. You learn how to download Revit software, how to screenshot your computer screen. This is necessary for me to be able to mentor you because I want to know what is happening on your Revit screen i want to see what is going on so you should be able to screenshot your computer properly then you learn easy ways to download these course videos you can actually download the course video so that it will save your data you will learn how to install and register revit software specifically for revit 2019 and revit 2017 you learn how to install adobe acrobat 10 Pro. Then you learn how to install Revit 2023. You learn how to install V-Ray for Revit. You learn how to preserve your software in your system. You learn how to download and install Revit 2024. Then we move to the next module, which is which I call Modeling Practice Part 1. In this part, we dealt with a specific project, okay? With this, you can follow me how I model that particular project. And the first video you see there is the one, getting started with Revit. This is all about introduction to Revit software. Then the two, you understand Revit user interface. Then we move to the three, mouse pads and important keyboard here you learn how to use different mouse pads and different parts of keyboard for your revit and that same day we learn how to create and customize shortcuts in revit other name for shortcut is hotkeys then we move to the next day which is day four how to modify dimension tick and change project unit. Then you learn in the five how to create levels to define the height of your element in Revit. In the six, you learn how to produce building plan in Revit architecture. And in the seven, you learn how to solve problem of family not loaded, part one. Then in the Eight, you learn loading Revit family from one project to another. In the nine, you learn how to place doors and windows in your Revit. In the ten, you learn how to write the names of the spaces in your building, that is labeling spaces of your building. In the eleven, you learn how to create first floor plan in Revit. And in the twelve, you learn how to create your approach view using cutting wall, balcony, using extrusion. And in the 13, you learn how to use extrusion properly. In the 14, you learn how to create grid line in Revit. And in the 15, you learn how to create coping in Revit. 
in the 16 you learn how to create glazed handrails and in the 17 you learn how to create landscaping elements in revit and in the 18 you learn how to create staircase in the 19 you learn how to create fence railing and in the 20 you learn how to create wall growth in revit in the 21 you learn how to model undulating compound filling in revit in the 22 you learn how to create site plan in revit now we move to the 23 you learn how to place trees human beings and cars in revit and in the 24 you learn how to create heap roof in revit in the 34 we learn how to use room for presentation in revit and in the 25 we learn how to create door and window schedule in the 26 you learn how to install and use v-ray for revit and in the 27 you learn how to create an L-shaped staircase in Revit. In the 28, you learn how to render using only Revit. In the 29, you learn how to create swimming pool in Revit. And in the 30, you learn how to render with V-Ray for Revit part one. And in the 31, you learn how to create Dutch gable in Revit. In the 32, you learn corner window family tutorial. And in the 33, you learn how to use voice sweep in Revit. Then after that, we move to modeling practice part two. In this part two, we dealt with a different project. Okay. Now in modeling practice part two, let's expand that. If we expand that, the first day in that module is how to create levels set dimension and walls and in the two you learn how to plan the spaces in your building using revit architecture in the three of that modeling practice part two you learn how to create window family with antique feature and in the four you learn how to place window on plan in revit and in the five you learn how to add graphics to your plan in revit architecture in the six you learn how to create first floor plan in revit in the seven how to model staircase in revit then in the eight you learn how to create and modify green line in revit in the nine you learn how to place windows on first floor in revit and in the 10, you learn how to create a roof with some parts raised. And in the 11, you learn how to create concrete fascia. In the 12, you learn how to separate walls with different colors and materials. In the 13, you learn how to create glazed handrail and resolve issue that comes with it. In the 14, we learn how to create groove design on wall in Revit. In the 15, we learn how to create floor in Revit architecture. And in the 16, we learn how to create different designs with extrusion. In the 17, you learn how to model pavement in Revit. In the 18, you learn how to create first column the fastest way. And in the 19, you learn how to create grass lawn in Revit architecture. In the 20, you learn how to create curves in Revit architecture. And in the 21, you learn how to use split face and paint to create different colors on the same wall. And in the 22, you learn how to bring up quick access to bar in Revit. In the 23, you learn how to model estates with ease in Revit architecture. And in the 24, you learn how to model column family in Revit. And in the 25, you learn how to combine Revit families to form a composite family. And we use cabinets for that training. We use kitchen cabinets. For that particular training 
and in day 26 you learn how to model an l-shaped kitchen cabinet in revit then after that we move to the next module which is called extras now extra came as a result of questions from my students as my students were coming in there were some other questions they were asking that those first part of the video didn't address so i had to create the video as i was answering the question and i uploaded the videos as extra now these are some of the things you get in the extra how to create a round rich cap how to place drawing on your title block how to create circular cutting wall in revit how to create different landform in revit how to combine pdf files to be one document then you learn how to step up your concrete face here in revit how to set up perfect pdf printing in revit architecture how to create advanced spiral staircase in revit how to create advanced spiral staircase part two you learn how to make road and curves to follow slope using topo surface in revit you learn interior design using revit architecture how to convert drawing to pdf made easy with revit 2023 and 2024 then you learn how to copy revit family from revit to external hard disk vice versa and you learn how to dimension an irregular site in revit then you learn how to design your title block in revit how to resolve the error that come with project browser not responding in revit you learn how to convert a jpeg plan to revit drawing you learn how to create special entrance posts using sweep you learn how to model flower pot in revit how to import autocad file to revit how to model complex revit door family how to create a complete section in revit how to design your cover page in revit how to convert drawing to pdf how to create staircase in revit 2019 how to indicate thin lines and thick line in revit you learn how to place components in revit e.g furniture plumbing vehicle etc you learn how to make handrail slope and follow steps and landing you learn the fastest way to start revit projects you learn how to produce high quality rendering with revit only you learn what to do when windows are not showing on floor plan you learn how to model columns with parametric features in revit part one you learn how to model columns with parametric features in part two you learn annotate elements in revit then you learn how to create cutting walls in revit how to model autocad plan in revit how to model black and white different colored caps in revit how to assign doors and window tags in revit how to model basement floor in revit part one how to model basement floor in revit part two how to resolve the issue with network license not available in revit 2023 and revit 2024 so these are what you get inside the revit tutorial masterclass and this is not the end yet as questions are coming from my students i answer them and i update the course from time to time all you need to do to gain access is simply tap on learn more button and follow the instruction tap on that button that you see on that page and it will take you to where you can enroll in the course see you in the course bye